Uh, Shakur Stevenson might have messed up, y'all. Sugar Shakur, God. And listen, this is my guy. You know what I mean? At 135 between him and Keyshawn Davis, I think Davis may end up, I think he might be a little bit bigger than Shakur Stevenson as far as the frame goes, and he might bite the bullet and move up to 140. Um, maybe. But I, I truly believe when it when it, the smoke clears, the dust settles, um, because Shakur um, is out ahead a little bit and, and probably has just a, a, a smidge more of a bigger name, uh, he'll be on the opposite end of that ring with a Devin Haney or um, a Javante Tank Davis for 135 supremacy. That's how I feel. Let's talk about it. What up, you two? Big Teal, Heavy Bad Boxing TV, man. Get your goof ass in here. I mean, your big, dumb, goofy ass in here and hit the bag. Hit that like button for your boy that helps the channel. You know, I appreciate that love. Shout out my gang, man. D1, Merc1, ML21, Skinny JT, Black Jesus, Troy Jack, Kiwan, uh, Rubble Life, Modern King, Letitia, YK World. Can't forget my guy, Tyrese. Celestin, Tyree Celestin, man, my, my bag hitters. All right, um, uh, oh, real quick, at Heavy Bad Boxing TV on Instagram, uh, check out this uh, uh this super thanks over here. If you want to support your boy, get with me on the gram. If you want to make a video, shouting out the channel, I get you in the intro. Or if you got something you want me to talk about, holla at me. All right, man, um, Shakur Stevenson, I think he might have messed up. I think he might have messed up, y'all. Now listen. Whether it was a slap in the face offer or not, he was given an offer from Devin Haney to fight. This could have potentially went down before Devin Haney uh, or Regis Progre signed the terms to fight a, a Devin Haney at 140 pounds. We could easily be getting the Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney fight now versus getting a Devin Haney and Regis Progre fight now. Either one, either way, I like both of those fights. But for Devin Haney, it would have been, it would have, you know, it would have been a sacrifice, but a sacrifice that we've seen before. Uh, you hear fighters talk about this all the time where, and, 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 um, you know, uh, people around boxing where you feel like sometimes you got to bite the bullet. Sometimes you got to take the bullshit money. Sometimes you got to take the bullshit offers to get where you're going. Now, from what I understand and what was reported, it was a 75-25 split. And, of course, Shakur Stevenson should have turned that down. Um, and, you know, I, I know he felt like it was a slap in the face. And even Floyd Mayweather came forward and said, hey, you know, I guess he at least wanted Devin Haney to be fair or, you know, wanted him to have a 50-50 fight or 50-50 per split. But listen, this is what people got to understand. And this is the point that I wanted to make in this video. Devin Haney's not a big draw, bro. Him and Lomachenko on pay-per-view did like 150,000 pay-per-view buys, bro. Devin has been fortunate to be in a position where he's been, you know, the captain of his own team and promotional company. He's been making a certain amount of money for a while. And he's not going to be willing, if especially if he's the four-belt holder, undisputed champion at 135 and the A-side, He's not going to be willing to take a pay cut for these guys. You understand that? He's he's not going to be willing to take a pay cut for these guys. The same thing that Javante Davis team just kind of threw out there, that they're not going to be willing to take pay cuts. He'll be able to get that fight with Eastside Pitbull Cruz again because Pitbull Cruz is going to be cool with whatever, whatever kind of bone they throw him. And you got to understand, that's what Devin Haney in his position is was doing with Shakur Stevenson, throwing him a bone. Okay, you barking, you saying you want to buy, you want to fight? Huh, take this. What you going to do? Now, even though, again, it's a slap in the face offer, but an offer nonetheless. And we've seen fighters in the past do it. Even when Floyd Mayweather fought Oscar De La Hoya. Or De La Hoya was the A-side. He had to agree to everything. And it was what much more deeper than just the purse split. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to take that sacrifice, man. Um, and I think this is where you might have fucked up. That's where you might have fucked Because now, more than likely, we're going to get this 
Devin Haney and Regis Progray fight. Now, I could be completely wrong. This thing could play out completely different. Um, but as far as we know right now, Regis Progray has signed his portion of the deal. Um, and that's the fight that Devin Haney is taking next, right? Um, now, if that doesn't happen, of course, Shakur Stevenson is the mandatory, right? Um, and it'll be a deadline to get that fight done between him and, and Devin Haney for sure. Uh, but he could have avoided that. He could have avoided it potentially sitting on the shelf uh, or maybe trying to get some work in between the fight. Now we've heard, we've been hearing about the talks about him fighting um, a Frank Martin. That's not written in stone yet, or at least I haven't seen anything about it being written in stone. No contracts have been signed yet. If it is, and I'm out of the loop, y'all let me know. Of course, I'll just come up here talking about what I do know. Um, and uh, stories are developing every moment of, of, of every day. You know I mean? It's hard to stay on top of all of it. So I apologize if I'm, you know, if I'm ever talking and something has transpired um, already that I missed, right? Uh, but as far as we know right now, or at least I know right now, it's going to be Devin Haney and Regis Progray. And potentially Frank Martin and Shakur Stevenson, both great fights. But I'm just saying, if if the ultimate goal was to get for to fight for undisputed, and they, I mean, like I could see if this was just you know a regular champ, this is for undisputed. Give me that 25 percent, man. Fuck it, I got. I, I'm going out on a limb. You know what I'm saying? Like it's undisputed. Give me this fucking 25 percent, man. I got, nigga. It's undisputed. And I rock with Shakur, bro. I rock with Shakur. I don't know what his team was telling him. You gotta, you gotta take that fight, bro. You gotta, you gotta entertain that offer. You know what I mean? You ain't, you ain't a draw. Now you've you've made some strides at you know one thirty and one thirty, uh, one twenty six and one thirty. But it's a whole different division, and you still ain't got that that big marquee name yet. This is how you do it. You gotta sacrifice. You know what I mean? You know how this shit works. Come on, baby. When these opportunities come knocking, you take that shit. Now, again, this all could play out completely different. But as of right now, Shakur Stevenson might have fucked up. And we don't know, being that he fucked up, things could go a different direction. You could have altered the timeline for so many for other events. <laughs> and now shit, you know, might not be lined up the way you wanted it. But if that opportunity come knocking for undisputed, bro, you take it. I don't give a fuck what it is. You you don't turn down undisputed. And that, my friend, is where you might have fucked up. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section, man. If my am I talking crazy? You know what I mean? I'm, 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 so I'm left with this. I don't know, man. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Big T O Heavy Bag at Heavy Bag Boxing TV on Instagram. Get with me, guys. I appreciate that love. Super thanks. Fuck with your boy. And if you don't, you already know who fuck with me the long way. And I fuck with him. But you know what? He don't really fuck with y'all. Why? Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.